guys, Bane here. Today I'm playing Unravel. In my last video, I played through the level called Barry Meyer, and today I'm gonna be playing through the level Off the Rails, which I did mislabel. Uh, uh, I misspoke in my previous video, and I called the level Off the Rails. I was actually playing Barry Meyer, this time Off the Rails. Show you guys how to do it, and this is going to be just kind of a, a speed run, as much of a speed run as I can do with Unravel. I'm not the best at it, but I will show you guys how to get through it in a timely manner. So, anyone who watched the last video might have been confused because they saw me playing in Barry Meyer and I called it off the rails, and the whole time I was wondering, like, why is this called off the rails? And then the second I entered this level, I realized, oh, I was calling it the wrong thing the whole time, because this one is clearly off the rails, with the, the railroad tracks right there, right at the beginning. Immediately we get a memory. Two girls desecrating a tree. Sweet. The lighting in this game never ceases to just blow me away. I think it's the shallow depth of field more than anything else that really gets it. Like, that artistic feel. Subtle environment things like a bird there and, and a snake in the grass. Very cool stuff. You know, they, they don't uh, add to the game's complexity, but they do add to its artistic feel and just make it kind of a peaceful, peaceful game, you know? Nice. Oh no, don't drown! And just simply springing your way up, tying the post down, and we're tying it down simply so that way when we run over to this side, it doesn't, you know, make us go flying where we don't want to go. Swing on over to that side, and that's all there is to it. Ta da! Not that hard. There is a secret button underneath there. Uh, I'm not even going to go for it right now. I'm just trying to get through this level. We grab this log out of here. Now you want to go as fast as you can. Pop right back onto that log so that it carries you. And then we grab the gate when we can. Whoa! Climb up. Tie a knot here. Climb up. Then there's this wheel-looking hubcap thing on the side here. We actually just use that to swing the gate open with a pulley system. Hop back onto your log. And then try to move as fast as you can here. If you are going for the secrets, you want to move as fast as you can because you'll see that red glimmer down there. This is a secret I've already captured. And you just have to make sure that you catch back up to your log. Grab that red uh, button right there. That's all there is to it. And then we just ride it on through, collect our next particle memory, and that's that portion of the puzzle. I mean, it doesn't get much easier than that. Climb up here, and we have a checkpoint. Take uh, notice of these chains here. Everything becomes quite a bit more industrious in this section. So we're going to jump over, going to get this little checkpoint here. Climb our way up. Swing to the left. Now, when we put our weight on this, the machine begins. And you have to work very quickly because we are stuck connected to this, uh, this pulley system now, this wheel. So we want to get up here and we want to jump and swing over to the right and pull on this chain simply to disengage our uh, Yarny from the wheel. And now we're free to go on rest of the level. If that one takes you a couple tries, don't feel bad. I totally did not get that on my first try either. So. And now, a lot of you have seen Star Wars Episode 3, and this is basically Padme's scene right here. But she didn't do that, okay? There we go. 
this time we got it. It's a bit of a crapshoot. It's kind of tricky. Now this part is hard too. We gotta jump, grab onto this piston head, and now what I try to do is grab it on its way up. We jump. Not like that. Whoa! You want to time your jumps across each piston head here. You can get it up on the upstroke. That's the best. And on this last one, you actually can lasso and get your way to the top. Now, you have a checkpoint. If you get confused here, don't try to go back. The key is to go out here. It's dark, so it's kind of hard to see it, but that's all you have to do. Just go to the left. And then up here we've got a little wheel. Go ahead and loosen it. Tie a knot here on this one. And let's tie a knot here on this one as well. Hey okay, now. There. Grab our wheel. We'll set it on our little yarn bridge. Set it on our little yarn bridge. There we go. And push it up the hill. That's a nice little ramp. Push it all the way there. And it locks into this little wheel hosing section. Now there is, if you don't mind dying, all you have to do is jump down to the right, and there's a button right underneath where I'm standing, if you haven't already got it. I have got it, so there you go, you can see the little red dot there. That's where the button is, is hiding. You do have to die to get it though. Uh, I've tried it a couple times, uh, just not going to happen, because it's so low to the bottom. Even if you try to rappel down slowly or something, it's just not going to work out for you. The wheel goes flying free. What we're going to do is pull the wheel back, and there's a bit of a dip in the grass right here. So we're going to let the wheel sit right there, and we'll pop up the log, and then we'll push our wheel over onto the limb like that. It sits right in the little pocket here. You might have better luck pulling it. I know I am definitely going to have better luck pulling it. Okay. And now we're clear of the wheel puzzle. Moves us on to our next section, which is the stone. But you want to run up here, collect this checkpoint first. Then, what we want to do is, you have to do it in this order. Tie a knot down here at the base of the tree. Climb up, tie a second knot at the top, and then push the boulder underneath the tree. What we're doing is making a point where we can climb our tail back up. Because once we push the rock in, the tree's all the way up there, so we have to get up by climbing our tail where our knot is there to save us. Then we simply run over to the right, Keep on climbing. Checkpoint. There we go. Tie a Make a little bridge. Make a little bridge. Oh, trampoline. Huh. Part is kind of tricky. It's just the timing and the angle of it all. There we go. This rock is loose, so be careful. Tie a knot here and tie a knot to the rock. Spin straight up and grab this vine. Work quickly and swing because a boulder is going to take you out if you don't. Get all the way to the top and do the same thing again. And one more time for good measure. And quickly run to the left because a rock has taken out all of our support. Alright. Now here is kind of tricky. You need a little bit of slack. Start swinging. Climb up the branch, up the branch, Yarny. There we go. Tie a knot and swing on over. Tie another knot to make our bridge. And we just fling ourselves up to the left. Cool. And that is that part. Now we have to avoid rock slides in this entire next section. 
So stay as close as you can to the rock face and it will protect you. You have to trigger the boulder slides and then climb up. Just like that. If you didn't trigger the boulder slides, you'd just end up standing on top of the stick and nothing would happen. Get this checkpoint, which triggers our next memory. Uh, looks like the girls that vandalized a tree are fleeing from the the authorities up a mountain. Climb up here, there's an obstacle giveaway, and we get a checkpoint, so we don't care. Rock slide, just keep jumping, just keep jumping. There we go. Go flat against this rock. Oh, last action hero, die hard step right there. Another checkpoint, and we're almost up there. This part, trigger the boulder, and pull this up. And when the rock comes, it will grab onto that stick, and you're nice and safe. Now we can use it to climb over, swing to the right, and get our next checkpoint. Which now, we are just purely swinging, is the whole point of this puzzle. We have to get lots of slack that we can get as high as we need to go. So, try not to rush yourself on this one because if your swing is not right, you're gonna die every time. There we go. And we need a lot of slack here and your timing just has to be right. And that's it. You can grab those electrical cables or whatever it is. Uh, just by climbing, because it is, it's is—it's treated like a glimmering vine. We're able to climb it. We'll grab our checkpoint, so if we slip, we're not going to completely die. And we'll swing away again. Over to the next section. We'll just keep the same method of swinging point to point going. Now this part might have some of you puzzled. You have to make your own teeter-totter by going back and forth and one more time and then when it gets going stay in the middle and there you go and now you can climb your cable because it's glimmering again right up to the top another checkpoint we're now free of the uh, glimmering swimming challenge I'll move over to our left climb up top here and swing away. Alright, now you can see that cable on the right is glimmering, so we'll want to try to get up there. Grab it. Climb to the top. And away we go. Pretty nice artwork here. Uh, you can see the locks connected to the, uh, the, the railing there, the fence. And that's the final memory for this level. Is the two girls, after they destroyed a tree and ran from the cops, they locked up a fence. And our final button is right there for this level. And that completes Off the Rails. I'm Bane, and thank you guys for watching. This has been Unravel on PlayStation 4. Feel free to leave a comment below and check us out at GameHolio.com.